Today we're going to make nut butter cookies. You can choose any nut butter you want, but we're using almond butter. Okay, there are only three ingredients to these cookies. However, we've chosen to add chocolate chips to some of them as well, which is a fourth ingredient. You may want to add fruit or other things. I don't know how that will work, but you can always experiment. So the first thing you do is take a cup of sugar. You put it in a nice big bowl. And then you take a cup of your chosen nut butter. Here is almond. And then you take one egg and you whisk the egg briefly, just with a fork. It's really important to whip the egg with a fork separately. The first time I made this, I just chucked everything in the bowl together. And the egg acts as a leavener, um, or at least adds some air, which you really do need, otherwise your cookies are just lumping. So add your egg in its entirety to the bowl. And that basically is your mixture. Mix it up carefully all together. And what you end up having is um, like a marzipan or an almond type paste or whatever you know nut you choose. It's that type of paste. Don't be put off if the mixture is quite stiff. It's supposed to be. The first time I made these cookies, I didn't trust the recipe. And so I added some water and my cookies looked like cookie soup at the end. It was just one cookie coming out on the tray. So trust the stiffness that is right, okay? And if you need something that, to remind you of what it should be, it's almost like a marzipan or an armor paste. All you do is take your baking tray lined with um, parchment paper and make little balls of cookie dough. About the size of a walnut, I want to say. And the way I space them is, um, three, two, three, two. So three on one row and two on another. So they have room to spread. Although my experience with the prop, prop proportions is that they don't need all that room to spread. Okay. So if we do two others, I can show you the different variation in the cookie. The um, recipe makes a nice amount of cookies. Um, I want to say maybe 25 or so. All right, so you have these cookies here on the tray like that. The original recipe says, guess what, more sugar and a fork. You take the sugar and you put it on the fork and you press the cookie down like that. If you're lucky, it will undo it on its own. If you're not, you have to do it, but like that. And if you want to add a little bit more on the top, you can as well. Okay. And then the other variation, which we decided to do was press it down with our fingers and add a few chocolate chips. When we first did the first recipe, we had the chocolate chips we had were mini ones. And I haven't done it with big ones like this, but this is all about experimentation. So the basic recipe is right. So when they're all done, they go in the oven at 350 for 10 minutes. Okay, so they've been in the oven for 10 minutes. I've taken them out and this is what they look like. They've spread a little bit, but not too badly. They need to be left alone, which might be difficult and tempting because if you try to lift them up now, they'll just fall to pieces. Um, the inside should be kind of marshmallowy, soft, a little bit like a macaron inside. The outside is crisp and it sort of holds it together. Um, I should have mentioned this before, but these cookies are parav, so that's a good thing. You should also know that um, they store very easily either in an uh, airtight tin or in the freezer with um, wax paper between them. So the cookies have cooled for a little bit and you can see they can be lifted up and put on the plate. And um, if they survive long enough in your house without being eaten, that's how you can present them. I'm Melanie Silva. I want to thank my sous chef, cinematographer and editor, Ethan Silva, for his help today. We wish you a hug sa mère and enjoy the rest of the holiday.